Hi there! My name is Emma and in today's video we are going to learn about pronunciation. I'm going to teach you how do you pronounce often? Is it with a T or with a silent T? What about words like listen? Is it listen or listen? Soften. Soften? Soften? Okay, so this video is about T's in the middle of words. Do we pronounce them or do we uh, keep them silent? Okay, so let's get started on how to pronounce these words. So I have a rule here. It's not always the rule, but for the most part this will help you. If you see S-T-E-N, F-T-E-N, S-T-L-E, usually, okay, and that's a big word, usually, not always, usually, we do not pronounce the T. So what are some examples of this? This, how do we say it? Listen. Listen. So you cannot hear a T. I do not say listen. I say it with an S but no T. Listen. Soften. Soften. Okay, and again you see F-T-E-N. S-T-E-N. Castle. Castle. Fasten. Fasten. Okay. Last one. Moisten. Moisten. So even though you see T-E-N, T-L-E, T-E-N, you do not pronounce the T in these words. But what about often. Did you hear I said that? Did I say it with a T or without a T? Often. Okay, so often is when it gets a little complicated because of the history of this word. Originally, in the 1700s, often was pronounced with a T and then they stopped pronouncing it with a T. They pronounced it often. And then people started to pronounce it with T again. So nowadays, how do we pronounce it? Both ways. Some people say often, that's, that's good. Other people say often with a silent T. Both ways are acceptable. Okay, both ways are now the standard. You can say either way. So if you look here, um, if you know the International Phonetic Alphabet, I have the different spellings that the dictionary says are okay for the pronunciation of this word. Okay, and if you don't know the International Phonetic Alphabet, that's okay. Pretty much what this means is you can have it without the T, often, or with the T, often. So even though we have a rule up here, F-T-E-N, usually it's a silent T, but in the case of often, it's your choice. If you like the way the T sounds, great. If you hate the way the T sounds, often is also good, okay? Now let's look at some words where we actually have to pronounce the T. So if you see STL, FTL, these are signs that you usually pronounce the T. What are some examples? Um, well, you can pronounce the T. Lastly, you could also say lastly, it's okay either way. Justly, mostly, softly. You can say it with or without, depending on where you're from. So the main thing I want to say in this video is often, often, or both okay. Our pronunciation is different depending on where we're from. So you might hear someone pronounce a word one way, but it could be their accent. It could be where they're from. And also a final point, language is always changing. Often, before there was a rule, no T. Now it has changed to where you can have a T or you can do it without a T. So language doesn't stay the same, it changes. Until next time, oh, I forgot one thing. I want to invite you to come visit our website at www.ingvid.com and there you can take our test on pronunciation with uh, words with silent T. So until next time, take care.